In this lesson, we are going to implement checkout action. When user add a product to the cart and press it to checkout and enter their information like this. In the last step, we need to implement confirm order. We need to create an order in commerce.js and redirect user to confirmation page. In this lesson, we implement the order and for next lesson, we implement the confirmation page. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to implement checkout action. Let's go to checkout.js and in handle next function, we are going to implement handle capture checkout. Comment out this line. So when we are at the last step and click on confirm order, this function should run. Let's implement it. Const handle capture checkout it's an async function because it sent request to commerce js api here we are going to create order data order data is an object and in this object we are going to save all information about order the first data is gonna be line items and it comes from checkout token dot live dot line items it includes all products, quantities, and subtotal. Next information is about customer, and it's what user entered in the form, including first name, last name, and email. Next section of data is shipping, and it includes name, street, city, country, postal code, and state. Next section is for fulfillment, and is set shipping method based on the selected shipping method in the combo box by user. And the last part is about credit card information. Here we are going to set gateway to test gateway because we are trying the sandbox API. And the next object is card and it includes all card information including card number, expiry month and year and CVB and billing postal code. After setting this data, we need to get an instance of commerce using get commerce and create a try catch part. In try part, we need to call commerce.checkout.capture like this and set the returning value to order object. For capture, we include, we pass two parameters, the ID of checkout token and the order information. Checkout.capture create an order in commerce.js and return the order information in order object. After this, we need to dispatch this action, order set, and set the payload to order. We need to implement order set action later. After setting this, we save the order information in local storage using local storage.set item and we save the order as a string inside order received in local storage. And after that, we need to call refresh cart to delete all products in the cart. And the last command here is going to be redirecting to confirmation page. We need to implement confirmation page in next lesson. What about error? First of all, we need to get errors like this. I just convert error.data.error.message to an array and save it inside error list and get errors as an error.data.error.errors. What I'm going to do here is to concatenate all errors inside this variable with the error list. And at the end, I use set errors to show errors to user. Great. Let's implement refresh card. Here is the definition of refresh card function. It's an async to create an instance of commerce.js and call card.refresh. It create an empty card and return that. So we need to dispatch card retrieve success and set payload to new cart.
Great, after implementing refresh card, let's go and create order set inside constants in utils.js. Duplicate this and rename it to order set. Go to store.js and as a last case for reducer, create a case for order set and inside this action i'm going to update order based on the data that is coming from action.payload import order set here and as a default value for order instead of setting to null i'm going to check window if window exists it means that i'm in client not in server so i can read content from local storage and get order receipt and if it does exist, convert that to JSON object. And if it doesn't exist, set order to null. That's it. Let's check the result. Click next. Uh, let's keep country state and shipping options empty. Let's see what error do we get. Click on confirm order. Aha. Uh -huh. The given data was invalid. It says we need to set shipping. We need to set shipping dot country state and fulfillment dot shipping method. Let's go back and back again select country select state and select shipping option next and confirm order we are getting this error it says error dot data dot error that message is null let's fix this issue inside checkout.js first of all we need to import order state here and save it Let's try again, select a product, add it to cart, proceed to checkout, next, country, state, and confirm order. Great, we get redirected to confirmation page. And if you go to dashboard.check.io slash orders, you will get the latest order that you created here. And if you click on it, you will see the details of this order, which is iPhone 12 Pro. And here is the test gateway, Jane Doe, and all information that you have entered in checkout screen. Great. That's it about this lesson. For next lesson, we are going to implement confirmation screen and show all information about the order to user. Until that lesson, bye-bye.